Having eye-catching graphics is more important than ever for making your game stand out from the crowd. So in this video, we're going to take a look at five great assets for improving your game's graphics. Three great assets that you can get started with for free is Unity's own post-processing stack, Cinemachine, and the Unity Particle Pack. In addition to the free assets Unity releases, we have an amazing community of developers who create their own assets to help other developers achieve greater realism and higher quality graphics in Unity. We'll take a quick look at an overview of each asset and then talk about how you get started with them and also talk about how they can be useful in their own ways. So let's go ahead and check them out. The first asset we'll take a look at is called Mesh Effects, created by Crypto289. This pack includes 21 different mesh effects that support a wide set of platforms, including PC, consoles, mobile, and VR. As the name suggests, these can be used for any kind of mesh, including a character, an object, and maybe even a boss in your game. Since these are all different materials, we can easily assign them to our meshes that we want to use these effects on. That means all of these work out of the box in Unity by simply dragging and dropping them into your scene, and we can also modify properties like the color of an effect very quickly. And on top of that, there are also prefabs of these materials if you wish to use that. And moving on to number two, we have an editor extension that enables you to make high quality 3D rendered PBR textures in Unity called Surforge. This is an asset created by Sergei Vladimiro, and it has a great intuitive workflow. We can draw things for our texture in Unity and utilize features like symmetry if we wish to, which enables the mirrored mode. This asset may be especially useful for programmers who aren't familiar with creating and designing textures in an external editing program. Surforge enables this powerful solution to be done within the Unity editor, so we don't have to use multiple applications. And next up at number three, we have S Screen Space Shadows by Sonic Ether. This asset provides ray traced shadows for directional lights. This approach produces sharp and detailed contact shadows, and it can capture details in shadows that would otherwise be missed using traditional shadow maps alone. This effect works with and requires DX11 and OpenGL 4.1, and it also requires using the deferred rendering path in Unity. In addition to providing better contact and self-shadows, this effect can be very effective for fields of grass or small detailed objects like rocks, where rendering these objects to the shadow map can be very costly. And moving on to number four, we're looking at a Unity extension that can change the look of your game in a unique way called Stylizer Extended by Befio. Stylizer is a drag and drop Unity extension and contains the full features Stylizer plugin. It provides you with 68 color palettes, 10 pattern presets, and demo content that comes with four environments, which contain more than 70 models and 16 scenes. We can get started by adding the Stylizer component to our camera in our scene and add dithering, pixelation, and grain. We can also create new palettes to modify the colors for each property in the image effect, or as mentioned earlier, we can use the included palettes too. And last but not least, the fifth asset we'll check out in this video is called CTS or Complete Terrain Shader made by Procedural Worlds in collaboration with Nature Manufacture. CTS comes with a professional PBR texture library that can be applied with a click to instantly change the look and feel of your scenes. It can also be tweaked at runtime to get your environment's texturing just right. We have CTS set up with our terrain in here and we can edit the properties in the asset file to change the looks of our terrain. CTS also works well with many other assets, including Gaia, Gina 2, Pegasus, RAM or River Auto Material, and more. So those were five great assets for improving your game's graphics in Unity. We're also going to leave a link to each of them in the description box of this video so you can easily find them. We hope you found this video helpful for finding new assets for your needs, and we look forward to see you in our next video.